Hello everybody, my name is Rolock, and welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. In the last episode, we defeated Krakow in Old Odyssey and gained access to Wild World. In today's episode, we are going to be delving deeper into Wild World, starting with level 3. And yes, I did restart the game, because, you know, it's to be expected. Now I have nothing. Not even an ability. And the plus 30 lives I had were completely gone. Now I don't need you. Um... Isn't there a... Nah, I guess not. I remember at some point, somewhere, there was a, uh, a hidden... something hidden with the, uh, the circus entrances. But yeah, this is another House of Horror type level, complete with a mirror of... What is it called? Truth mirror, as it's called on the wiki. Make sure that Ghost Gordo doesn't get us. Dive down here, grab yourselves a keychain. Uh, is there a hair in my mouth? What am I tasting? Something in my mouth that doesn't sound right. I did just wake up like about an hour ago, but eh. Ooh. I will say, I do like these truth mirror segments. They really give you a little chance to shine just as Kirby and not just use your ability for everything. <laughs> I guess we're going to be using Crash for a little bit. <laughs> as for how long, well, yeah. Yeah, that's Crash normally without charging it up. Obviously, it'll just deal less damage, so it's not too much of a big deal. It's over here. Star. I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Ninja, finally. Oh, and a mumbly. Okay. Whoa. Now, if I recall correctly, one of these guys is going to give us a little spot that has a door, which is here. Oh, goody. It's one of these. Okay. Um. So what we got to do... Very carefully shoot the rocket to hit that block there. Then we gotta use another rocket to hit the bomb block. And let's set off a chain reaction. And then we just fire the last one there. There we go. It's the first sunstone for this level. Hopefully. Yes, yes, it is. I'm, again, like I keep saying, I'm always gonna be paranoid if we haven't collected any yet. But luckily, that should be the only issue we have with this, I, that I have with this level. Because I'm pretty sure the last two... I'm pretty sure this is a hypernova level. You can usually almost always count on that with the, uh, the four sunstone levels. Okay, we're getting close to the rare keychain spot. Because if we pay attention to the stairs... More specifically on this spot, it, for some reason, has a secret door. Don't ask me how that works, it just does. We grab one up, and then we grab the keychain. And on we go. Yeah, these Kirby games want you to be a fairly very uh, observant in situations like these, because, like... How many people do you think... I mean, I passed it up on my test run a while back. How many people do you think are actually going to be seeing that? That little, tiny little, like, detail. It's probably going to be a bit more difficult because you're not even going to be climbing up on the stairs normally. Okay, that's not the door. And those are mumblies. Great. This is the door we need to go through because I'm pretty sure that one's a fake one that will just fall on top of us. And this should be... Getting close to the... There it is. I knew it was in here. Alright, let's do it. Uh, can we do anything with these ones, actually? Hmm, guess not. Guess they're just decorative. Alright, so this segment is mostly going to be focusing on these suits of armor. Specifically ones like that. Which are actually possessed by these big chubby looking ghosts. I'm going to drop a few stars for us. There we go. Go ahead and pull on the switch. Now we got to find a key. 
Maybe this guy will have it for us. Indeed he does. Anything else? No, there isn't. All right. Moving on. Okay. Now what? Books. Just random flying books. Flying plates. And possibly more suits of armor that are going to try and kill us. There you are. And there's the third sunstone. And the last one should be just before the end of the level. Because that's usually what happens with these levels. Ah. For example, here. Now then. It's obviously all fake doors, and they're all going to be shuffling. I think if you... Honestly, I don't know if you can guess, and you'll just get it right, but it honestly feels like it's impossible. So... What we do is go ahead, pull this curtain back. Let the sun shine through and burn away the fake ones. And we have the real door revealed. And if we want to keep inhaling these windows off, the sunstone will pop out. And there we go. And there should just be one last room for this level. Man, this is a long level. We're only at seven minutes? Huh. Yes, okay. Here's the exit. But we're not quite done yet. Even though Kirby could easily just go through the door with no problem whatsoever. Gonna have some kind of gimmick with these hypernovas. It's a very familiar figure in the background there. Right, so... And it looks like that's actually a picture of our kidnapper in the background as well in the in that golden frame. Never actually noticed that before. Kinda hard to tell with the quality and whatnot, but it certainly is the same shape and looks as that character. Hmm. The painting on the left is obviously Magalore from Return to Dreamland, and I think that picture of the grassy fields is also from Return to Dreamland. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure. So yeah, this mini boss is fairly certain, simple. All I gotta do is just inhale it when it's you know revealing itself. The like second thing it's possessing, and the last one's gonna be a piano. Because you know we gotta have a scary piano. You know it's not that scary. So simply follow you around, wait for it to smash down. I just realized it's like eye glass. The stained glass up there is like eyes. I never noticed that before. On the third hit, it's going to get tired. So let's go ahead and inhale that. And this guy's got nowhere else to run. There we go. That reveals the finale. So let's go ahead and head on through. Let's see if I can get this. I think I did. Indeed, I did. Fantastic. Kind of a weird level in this, like, jungle like level or world. Magic Kirby from Squid Squad. Freeze Kirby from Nightmare in Dreamland. UFO Kirby from Kirby's Adventure. And another clean choo-choo. Great. Yeah, this whole world's kind of like based around a jungle and like a temple thing, but there's just for some reason a haunted house in the middle of it. A little weird, but I'm pretty sure that's the last of the haunted houses we'll be getting. Alright, on to level four. This one is going to be taking place mostly in a large temple. Very interesting level. It should be fairly simple. Ow, okay. Surprised that didn't hit him. Got these giant snake statues in the background there are gonna be shooting fireballs at us. Uh, some obvious goodies in the background. So we'll go ahead and take the 3D Warp Star, head on back there. Grab this. Just for the hell of it, we probably don't need it. But, 
you know, I say that, but with the times I've died in this game so far, it's, you know, probably a good idea to actually, you know, try and look out for this kind of stuff. So hidden keychain back here. Hopefully we don't need fire or anything like that, because that was a weird spot for that circus guy to be. Ow. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Food and stars for us. As well as another fry guy. They're really wanting us to get fire. I don't know why. Man, that cutter's just gonna keep going. Wow, that goes for a long while. Good lord. Another keychain. Alright. Uh, nothing else for us in this room. Ah, this thing. Is this the first in introduction of this uh, item? I think it is. I don't recall using it any, any time before. But yeah, uh, we simply got like a big electric energy bar thing. Uh, could destroy things in the background. Basically just match up our jumps to it. And we should be grabbing all the goodies as needed. Ow. Or we can just... Okay, well, we don't need that anymore. Probably nice to have ninja, but there are other abilities for us to get. Oh, right. The switch. Yep. And like with most of the, uh, I guess, background items, you can call them. Uh, or I guess most of the items. Uh, you can bring it into the background as well. Although bringing it into the background is not really going to do a whole lot. Cleaning's not an ability yet. That comes into the Star Allies. Or I think in a previous game. I'm not too sure if it, cleaning was a, in a previous game. Crash! As well as in this crate is our rare keychain for the level. Now, if memory serves correctly, this is kind of going to be a timed battle here. Yes, because it's just in the background there. As well as, you know, all that stuff is going to go through. But thankfully, we have Crash, so we should be able to take out Blocky with one hit. Close enough. Certainly expedites the process. Nope, come on. Fucking. Ah! Come on, hurry up. There we go. Alright, come here. Let's go, 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 go. <laughs> Never been this close to it getting down there, good lord. Nope, come here. There we go. Okay. Okay. That was <laughs> unnecessarily close. I think the last stone is actually. Ooh, bread. I think the last zone is actually fairly easy to grab, too, and I think just... Oh, there it is. It's a blue star for us there. Thankfully, with stone, we are able to withstand the blasts from these statues, as well as push down this peg. Grab ourselves an energy drink and a keychain. Could probably grab a leaf there, but nah, I don't care all that much. I think stone is actually needed for yes. Here's the last stone. And it's more or less more you know, useful than most abilities to get that stone. Although you probably could use Leaf's guard for it. because I still don't know if Leaf has a full 100% invulnerability. I mean, to certain attacks, yes, it has invulnerability, but it's not every attack. Alright. That's that level done and done. Full blast. Let's see if we can get a streak back going back on. Okay, what do we got? Achi from Squeak Squad. Koner from Dreamland. Shocked DDD from Kirby's Dreamland. And Wheel Kirby and three Kirby's from Mass Attack. I want to play Mass Attack at some time. Looks like a fun game. Okay, we got another temple level, and this is the second to last level before the boss. Alright. I'm going to ditch stone and grab cutter. It's, again, cutter's not the greatest ability, but yeah. Uh, okay, the gimmick with this level is that there's going to be a lot of chests. Which may or may not actually hold some, you know, good things for us. Sometimes it'll hold good things, other times it'll just hold, like, just one star. 
Well, okay. Let's see what we got in star. Yellow star. Green star. Keychain. Okay. Why are you not dead? There we go. Okay. Whoa, okay, that works. Now we got scales. Always gonna be weighed down by certain characters. Uh ow, okay. This contains a star for us now. We need to get Do we actually need to? Yes we do. I think we do. Okay, let's just go kill this do and D. Because I'm pretty sure we need them off the scales. So we can first get this chest. Which may or may not have something for us. And I think we should do that. I'm not too sure if this is the one we need it for, but I think it is. Nope, it's just the first sunstone. Alright. Well, what else is there for us back here? There's gotta be something. Aside from spiders. Oh, is this the way forward? Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. I just... I just didn't piece that together. Interesting. Okay. Uh, last up here. Grab a chest. Probably just... Yep, star. That's yeah, a great level to get stars, that's for certain. Uh, blast into this one. There we go. What do we got? Energy drink. Not bad. Go ahead and destroy this. Let's be on our way. Okay, so for this one, that's yeah, another mirror, so we'll go ahead and blast into this one. Chest, that contains another star. This one contains another chest that contains a keychain. All right, not bad. Let's switch over here, and let's go. All right, on to the next room. Beam and spark. Uh, we'll take spark. Thank you, Wallaby. I'm going to time bomb. All right, we'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, man. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, I really hope we don't need fire, because <laughs> that would suck. We are going outside, so. Uh, oh, we probably did need, and that's not gonna work. Uh, oh, thankfully fire's here though. Thank God for that, because that would have made me very worried. And I do think we will eventually be needing to actually cut this grass down. Nope, not yet. Grab the key. Guess we will be needing fire. It's good to know. I'm pretty sure this is the second sunstone. Indeed, it is. There we go. Okay. No energy drink. Not bad. Head into this little bonus room. Okay, this is the one where we actually need to kill the guys. Well, specifically the Cappy. Go ahead and grab you again. Okay, so. I want to make it so it's like a staircase. So we need to get that key up to that door, so we'll just go ahead and get this up to here. And that should be good enough. Should be able to reach all those platforms. Good thing Kirby's got strong legs, even though they're just little nubs. Third sunstone down. Okay, so how come when I want it to last longer, it doesn't choose to last long, but when I don't want it to last long, it lasts super far longer than I need it to be? Okay, so that's what the blocks are supposed to look like. I think. I don't know why those blocks we encountered before were completely textureless and black. That was, I obviously it's an emulator thing, but I still really don't understand why they had to look like that. Unfortunately, we're going to have to use the helmet cannon just to get a little bit delayed stuff. I've said before, these things are limited. 
As you can see, Kirby getting a bit more... Actually, I don't even know why Kirby's, like, getting all, like, steppy like that. There's the rare keychain, as well as the last sunstone. Okay, now it's getting a bit... Actually, what happens if we just let it go? Wow, it's, uh... Huh, okay, there we go. And that should be the end of the level. One last care for us. Alright, and there we go. Pretty simple level. Nothing too complicated. Let's see if we can go three for three for this episode. No, we cannot. That's going to be a two. Hopefully. Yes, it is. I'm actually curious. I'll explain later. Mayor Kirby from Superstar. Blipper from Canvas Curse. Marks from Superstar. All right. I'm curious because in... I remember if it was it was Kirby's Adventure and Kirby's Return to Dreamland. If you managed to get on the goal game seven to one on each consecutive level, like you get seven, you get the seven one, and then you get six, and then five, four, three, two, and one, you would get thirty one ups. I'm curious if that's also a thing you can do in this game, because it certainly seems like you might be able to do it. I don't know, I'll have to test that in the free time, but it certainly seems like something that could happen. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode. We pretty much got Wild World almost completely finished up. All we got to do is simply go to the bonus stage and take on the boss. See you guys next time.